Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit the subscribe button for me and include the bell button as well for all our upcoming videos. You know, the Explore iX125R1 tablet was designed to be the only tablet you'll need. In today's video, I'll be going through my top 10 features of the Explore tablet, so stay tuned. Welcome back to my top 10 features of the Explore XI125R1 tablet. So today I'm going to go through the top 10 features and number 10 on this tablet for me was the fact that underneath the battery, if you take a look underneath the battery here, there is a mini SD card slot. You don't find this very often on tablets, on the rugged tablets. And then over here you have the SIM card, the mini SIM card slot so that you can get, you know, order broadband and that sort of thing. So what I like about this is they, mini SIM card slot here and right here is an upgrade where you can add an upgrade for a smart card reader as well. So you can have your card in there and um, do the smart card thing. So that's what my number 10 is. All right. So number nine is that it meets the mill standard 810G standard, which means that it will withstand a lot of environmental factors. It has an IP54 rating for dust and water resistance and is C1D2 compliant for use in hazardous locations. In addition, the screen is protected by a Gorilla Glass 4. So this baby is way rugged. Number eight is the battery. Now, Explorer claims that the battery is a nine hour battery. It'll give you nine hours of life. However, some reports on the web state that that number is a bit ambitious. I didn't test the battery life on this unit, so you'll have to just go by what you read. Number seven, this thing comes with a fingerprint reader that's integrated into the right side of this laptop. So you can use that to turn this laptop on. You don't have to have all your passwords and that sort of thing. Um, number six is next to the front camera are two microphones, as well as one microphone on the back. This is a front array microphones that optimize the sound detection for speech recognition and voice recording way advanced than the other tablets that we reviewed and taken a look at on this on this series. So that's my take on the on number six. Number five is the cameras. There's an eight megapixel camera on the front and a two megapixel camera on the back, as well as there is a light here for videoing in dark places. So you have kind of a, a video light. So number four is the screen. The screen provides for an 800 nit brightness, which makes for good viewing in direct sunlight. There's also an anti smudge finish to the touch panel and an ambient light sensor, which is right, uh, right by the camera, which uh, to help set the brightness automatically to the appropriate level, depending on the conditions. So that's my take on the the screen at number three i'm going to talk about the screen some more it's 12.5 inch screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels text is legible and video looks fine as well coming in at number two of course these requirements rule out any possibility of a thin and light device the r125s two inch, 12 inch display is wrapped in a protective chassis that give the laptop or the tablet, I should say, overall dimension of 328.5 millimeters by 207.5 millimeters by 13, 19 millimeters thick. It weighs 1.34 kilograms. For us Americans, 
that's 12.93 inches by 8.16 inches by 0.74 inches and 2.95 pounds. I'm talking almost three pounds on this baby. But I think my favorite feature, which is number one today, is the function keys. There are three function keys right by the screen and F1 key displays the tablet center. Press and hold for Windows Journal. F2, when you press it, gives you the Capture Pro application. When you press and hold it, the display will bring up the pictures directory. F3, press for tablet PC settings. And if you press and hold it, you'll get the on-screen keyboard. So I think that's really a sharp feature for this laptop. Well, as always, I'm gonna give you the negative that I found on this tablet. I love the rugged ability of this tablet, but it does have a negative. And I'm gonna tell you right now, two negatives that come up whenever you take a look at it is the weight. It is almost three pounds heavy. Uh, you given up weight or light, you know, the thinness and the lightness for the bigger screen. So most of it is in the screen and the chassis that's giving you this heavy weight. The other thing is whenever with this i7 processor, the fan tends to kick on an awful lot and can be rather noisy. I read online where there were some complaints. I tested it out and yeah, they're right. The fan does run a lot to cool it off. Uh, it is a bit noisy, but it's not unbearable. It sounds like any other laptop that I've ever dealt with. So that's my take on this tablet. One other bonus thing I want to talk about is the car dock. We happen to get these car docks with this unit. And the nice thing about this car dock is that the tablet goes in and out pretty easy like this. It snaps in so that when you're in your car, you can easily read it. The, the car dock that I have here comes with the HDMI out, even has the RJ45 Ethernet port as well, uh, VGA out, SVGA out, and nine pin serial port, uh, extra USB ports, and of course audio and microphone jacks as well. So this is the dock. Now, one nice feature of this dock, which I don't see on many of these tablet docks from other manufacturers, is the second battery charging port. This is a second battery for this tablet. Pops in here and it'll charge your second battery while you have the tablet installed. Or if you needed to use the battery, you can just pop it out, pop it in the laptop. So I do like the docking station that came with this unit. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave below. I'll answer as many as I can. I'd love to hear who owns one of these tablets if you do. Um, until next week, see you soon.